Superworms are fantastic feeders, but only if you breed and care for them correctly. Here's the science-based way to build a productive colony. Superworms cycle through four stages. The key twist, larvae won't pupate in crowds. To get beetles, you must isolate mature larvae so they metamorphose into pupae, then into egg-laying beetles. Keep colonies warm and dry. Aim for 24-29 degrees Celsius, 75-85 degrees Fahrenheit for breeding and approximately 21-27 degrees Celsius, 70-80 degrees Fahrenheit is perfectly acceptable for general keeping. Avoid excess humidity. It fuels mold and die-offs. Use a smooth escape-proof bin with wheat bran or oat bran as both bedding and food. Add ventilation to prevent condensation. Provide moisture with carrot, potato, or squash slices. Replace before they mold. When larvae are large and restless, move one per cup with dry tissue, no food. In isolation they pupate, then emerge as beetles. At approximately 25 degrees C, the pupal stage averages approximately 13-15 days. Place new beetles in a fresh bin with bran and egg crate hides. Keep warm and dry, offer thin veggie slices for moisture. Every one two weeks, sift beetles into a new bin so the eggs and pin larvae aren't eaten. Superworms run high in fat with a low calcium, phosphorus ratio, approximately 1, 7, so gut load 24, 48 hours with greens and quality grains, and dust with calcium before feeding to reptiles. Common killers, excess moisture, overheating, and cold. Keep bins dry with airflow, don't overcrowd, and never refrigerate superworms. They die at cold temps. Maintain room temp storage for feeders. Run separate bins for beetles, eggs, early larvae, grow outs, and isolated pupae. Rotate beetles to new laying bins on schedule so you've always got multiple age groups coming up. Breed smarter, waste less, and keep your animals thriving. Like, share, and subscribe to EA Avian and Exotic for more evidence-based care.